Hey, this is Pacific Coast Hillsides, and I'm going to be talking about my uh, hunting bow. I might be shooting this one this year for 2021. I'm not sure. I have four other bows, but I think this is going to be my hunting bow for this year. Um, it's the bear moment. Um, so, it'll, so what I got on it is a Trophy Ridge Hitman Stabilizer. I got five ounces up front. Um, I have the Hex two-piece, uh, quiver. I like it because there's mounting system on bear. Or you can mount it in here and on the bottom instead of having one piece one full quiver just in case and it's really light um, I also have the Sync MD from Trophy Ridge on here um, I like it works really really well um, they also have another version, their slightly cheaper version. That one's nice too. I have that on one of my other bows. Um, so I'm also shooting these Punisher Bloodsport arrows. They're right at about 455 grain. Um, I think this year I'm going to focus on chasing deer. Um, I did a little, I, elk, I've been elk hunting for the last couple years and I've been unsuccessful, but I did shoot an elk and unfortunately I did not recover it. And it's a shame. I'm really upset about it, but it's life. And so this is also the hot wire from Trophy Ridge that I have on it it's a mover sight so it's got an adjustable pin right here as you can tell it slides up and down by this knob on the top um, I like it for spot and stock situations um, because I have my 20 and my 30 set or my 30 and 40 if I want to go that route for those two top pins and then all I have to do is you know slide this pin if an animal moves to a different yardage instead of it just being at like say 50 yards you'd be like oh you know move out to 60 and just kind of slide it down a little bit you know kind of have that leeway if you have the time um, if you can get a range on it on the animal um, but I think this will be the setup um, that I'll be using this year um, but like I said, I do have three other bows that I might shoot and see if I want to run with them this year. But I just got uh, a Bear Kuma 33 that is set up and that I'm using for tournaments. Um, but if you want me to do a video on that, like comment subscribe to my channel and I'll do a review on that that bow is nice um, I really like that one so far I just picked it up this last year um, but a little specs on the bare moment uh, brace height six inches um, IBO rating is 340 uh, it comes with contraband strings on it but I swap mine out to 60x strings just because I like that those strings that that manufacturer has. Um, 31 inches axle to axle. Uh, this bow also um, has a little mod stop, so if you got to change your uh, draw length, super simple. You just look in their book that they have. You swap this knob out. Boom. Oh, and this knob right here. 
and it swaps out right to your draw length super easy. Uh, draw length 25 to 30. My draw length is 20 and a half to 29 depending on bow. Um, also this is the 55 to 70 pound version. I just like to have that slight adjustability to be between you know you know the 60 mid 60 range on my bow so that's what I have mine I believe this one's set at actually this one's set at 70 now looking at the, the cam I mean the limbs have the screw all the way set down so Alright, so just let me know if you want to hear about the Kuma 33. Like I said, like, subscribe, and I'll do a video on that. Also, go check out Deadeye. They have an Instagram and a Facebook. Deadeye Outfitters. Um, go check out their hats and shirts. They got lots of cool stuff on there, hats, uh, shirts, um, beanies, sweatshirts, coats, all sorts of really cool stuff. This is one of my favorite hats from them. Go check them out.